Ken and Barbie are having a baby. And they need to decorate the nursery. Lalalu is happy to help. We need to put everything in its place. And hang the mirror so Barbie can fix her hair. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get the house ready for the baby. Take two empty eyeshadow palettes. Cut suction pads from rubber toys. These legs won't scratch the floor. Attach them. We just need to paint the nightstand mint and the drawers light blue. This nightstand looks steady, just what we need. Parts of LOL bottles will come in handy. Now it's very easy to reach her makeup. Barbie put her book down. I'll finish reading later. And now I need to apply my body lotion. Let's make a small table. Take a face cleansing brush. Remove all the bristles. Apply hot glue to a smooth surface. Attach half of a compact mirror so the print is on the outside. It's ready! A toy for baby and some flowers for mom. Blot the second half of a compact and polish it. Decorate with a butterfly. Put some stars along the sides. And top it with starry glitter. We need a canopy. Make three plastic circles out of a soap box. Glue wooden sticks along one of the circles. Attach the second circle to the bottom and the third circle to the top. Cover the frame with white acrylic paint. We have a soft foam rubber mattress. Give it an oval shape. Now the mattress fits inside. Put a hard wire through a straw. Bend the wire like this and attach it to the bed. Sew a piece of chiffon fabric like this to make a curtain. Put it on the ring and make a cut. The curtain is open! Decorate it with bows and flowers. It'll be like sleeping in a beautiful garden! We just need a warm fluffy blanket and a few pillows. Now there's a cute mobile above the bed. Let's make a dresser. Remove one side of a small suitcase. Make two shelves out of it and make sure they are all the same size. We'll need this cardboard sheet for the front wall and the drawers. But we don't need the handle anymore. Let's add a top shelf instead. It's ready! Cover the dresser with a light blue shade. Add twine to the attachment points and the edges. It looks so cozy! And if we apply Elmer's glue and sprinkle it with glitter, it'll look even better! Glue jump rings on to be drawer handles. These bears are so cute! Let's decorate the shelves with them! Cut a rectangular piece with lace out of soft fabric. The dresser will look great with this stylish cover. Ken just needs to install it. Oh, it's so heavy. I hope it's worth it. We also need to attach handles. Honey, please do your best. This dresser is amazing! It's ready! <laughs> Thanks, honey! <laughs> now we just need to fill it with things for our baby. 
all the drawers are full. Everything is in its place. <laughs> a designer shelf will be a good addition to the nursery. Glue a plastic lid to a lotion bottle. Take makeup brushes. Remove the bristles. Dip them in hot glue and let them dry. Just a moment and three steady legs are ready. Remove the side parts of an empty tube. Get rid of any leftover lotion. Now we have funny ears to decorate our shelf. Add some mint paint. The ears need to be pink inside. Great job! Cut strips out of construction cardboard and then glue them together. Tape over the edges. Now the space inside has shelves. A ribbon at the bottom, a bow on top, and all the decorations are ready. Honey, I have a surprise for you. Look what I ordered for our baby. Wow, it's so beautiful. I love it. It has so much space for toys. This bunny shelf is so cute. <laughs> My baby loves the new rocking center. Take a beauty blender holder. Remove one side. Cut a cotton pad so it fits inside. The baby can't wait! Wait a minute, we need to secure you with laces. Bend a wire and paint it white. These beads turn into a flower. Attach it to the back side. Son, wait here. Mommy needs to wash your bottle. It's lunch time. <laughs> Let's make a playpen for the baby. This face powder container will come in handy. Paint it a mint color, then cover it with athletic fabric. Decorate the sides with strips of glittery foam paper. Cover coffee stirs with acrylic paint. Heat an all and make holes in the container. Install the wooden sticks. Cover the frame with stretchy mesh fabric and secure it with thread. And add some squishy balls so the baby has something to play with. Look, April! Now you have such a nice playpen! <laughs> Newborns need a crib. Let's make one out of an old eyeshadow palette and some coffee stirs. Install the coffee stirs on the sides. Clean the plastic. Paint the crib white. Fill empty containers with beads. Put a sponge mattress inside. Paint the horizontal bars pink. Add a blanket. Now if the baby has a nightmare, Mommy will always be near. Hush, everything's fine. I'm here. Go back to sleep, little one. Let's make a hanging crib. Make the bottom and sides of the crib out of foam paper. Decorate it with ruffles. Attach four jump rings and little stars. Now we just need to hang the crib. Add a blanket, a pillow, and it's ready. The baby loves his new crib. He feels like he is having fun on a swing. Mommies love when everything's nice and neat. That's why we need to make a toy basket. Cover a hairspray cap with ribbons of two colors. Glue jump rings to the sides to be handles. We made a nice basket. Ouch! What did I step on? How come my children didn't put away their toys again? I'll clean up, but this is the last time. Soon the baby was born and saw his room for the very first time. 
here's your changing table. And this is a shelf with ears. It even has its own bunny. When you become a little older, don't forget to put your toys in their proper places. Now it's time for bed. You'll love this canopy. Barbie and Ken are happy with their new nursery. Which idea did you like the most? Comment below. Like our video, subscribe to Lalaloo, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. <laughs>